Hi YouTube, it's Barbara Barracuda again. Well, no updates on my Twilight thing, but whatever, I'll save that for another day. Anywho, I'm posting this because I think that I just found the funniest thing ever. Okay, it's on MySpace, and I think it started on Facebook and then was brought over to MySpace, but I'm not sure. It's called The Truth Box. I think it's so hilarious how everyone takes it so fucking seriously. I mean, uh, it's just, like, some people use it how it's supposed to be used. Or, like, I got one that said, you're a really cool person, but sometimes you annoy me. Which sounds like someone could really think that about me, because, of course, I'm cool. And, of course, I'm annoying. But, then again, everyone has annoying tendencies. Um, so I was like, okay, that's cool. And then she, or I was like, yeah, that's cool. I can see how I annoy people. I kind of do that a lot. And then she's like, yeah, but you're a cool person for the most part. And so that was kind of cool. Okay. But then there's other people who use it in this ridiculous way. Like, let me see if I can find it. Um, I got one that said, if I mailed you an envelope, would you open it? And I said, well, yeah, I usually open my mail. And then they wrote, you're dumb. I fucking hate you. And I was like, Really? If you hate me so much, then why are you wasting your time writing in my truth box? And a message that went along the lines of that, and they haven't replied. And, um, also, another person left me one that said, I said she's in a box. Try and find her. And I was very confused, so I asked them about it, and they said, Aha, now that you have replied, I have complete control over your mind. You are now my mind slave. And I was like, wow, this is bullshit then other people decide to use the truth box to tell people off. And that's just, that's just kind of pussy-ish, because you're using the truth box anonymous messages to tell someone off online. First of all, telling someone off online is already pussy-ish. Telling someone off online anonymously is even worse. And then you think you're all like badass because you get to tell someone off online and they don't know who you are. Like, oh my god, I feel so empowered by the fact that I have no life and no spine. So, anywho, I think it's so funny how everyone's taking it so seriously, and people post videos on YouTube about it all the time, so of course you know me, the trend follower. I decided to post one about it, and I think that my favorite one has been one about someone who decides to read off all of her hateful truth box entries. One of them is like, fat, 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 oh, but just kidding. I actually think you're kind of petite, I masturbate to you. I'm like, why would you post that about yourself? Why would you want to spread that around? I'm just wondering. Because if everyone thinks that you're fat, then I wouldn't want to just throw it out there even more. Because there happened to be like 18 messages that she shared with everyone were fat. Oh my god, you're so huge. Oh my god, you're blocking the sun. And you're huge. You're fat. You're grotesque. And I'm just like, see, I wouldn't want to make that public. See, if I were fat, and thank fucking god I'm not. See, if I were fat, I'd kind of try to make myself seem skinny or slender. I don't know, but that's just me, because I don't know about you guys, but I kind of like the image of Barbie, because I think that she is goddamn sexy and I would fuck her in a heartbeat. But, you see, I guess that people out there are just different from me. But anywho, I think it's just so funny how people take it so seriously, and then there's this other person who was reading off every single truth that he had, and some of them were like, oh, you're heck of cool, and he'd be like, oh, thanks, and someone's like, you're a fucking poser, and he's like, no, I'm not, you fucking posers, you fucking hicks at my school, and I'm like, really, wow, you take it way too seriously, first of all, I never take anything online seriously, hence why I'm always sarcastic and joking around on this, but also, that's just, you're taking anonymous messages seriously, I mean, it's like taking prank calls seriously, that's just, no. And that's essentially what the truth box is. It's prank calling someone and then just hanging up. And they have the option of replying, and if they do, then that's just stupid. But, I don't know. I guess you can call it prank calling, or you can just call it call telling someone the truth. But people have different meanings for everything. And so, I just wanted to tell you guys how I think it's so ridiculous how people take it so seriously. And I think that it's kind of funny to listen to other people's reactions to the truth box, because I just think it's kind of pathetic. And, um, I joke around on it. I send people ridiculous messages, and I send people lyrics, and sometimes I use it for actual truths, but most of the time I just joke around and fuck with people. So, if you get one of those, like, strange messages, like, oh my god, you're so fucking hot, I want to fuck you in the ass, that's probably me. 
Anywho, this message is getting a little long for me, and I kind of want to go to bed, because it's about 11.06, which is about two hours past my bedtime, you know, go to bed at nine, I'm a good Christian girl. Bye-bye.